and welcome to Redeemer Review. My name's Phil, next to me is Rachel, and of course, Pastor Carney. Today is Friday, June 16th, and this is Redeemer Review for Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. <laughs> we have a lot to talk about in today's review, including some changes to our streams. But first, let's talk about our talking points, which is the theme, which is Father's Day, like Rachel mentioned. Uh, Sunday's message, which is following the leader. Uh, we have a little steps update for you. We'll be talking about the commissioning next Sunday. Uh, new sermon series that Pastor and Rachel are going to talk about. We've got Sunday school teachers needed. We'll give you an update on that. Take a look at the good news. Do some prayer requests. Finish up with some announcements in that sermon review video and three questions with Pastor Carney. Welcome back, Pastor. Thank you. Yeah, so looking forward to diving into all of that this week. Oh, I'm following. Am I leading? Am I following? What's the gist? I don't know. What should we expect uh, to learn? <laughs> following the leader is my theme for Sunday. Very good. So I see. I, I tricked you. You tricked you, me you into it. for that yeah. one. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Are you a leader or a follower when it comes to your family? My family, leader. A leader. Yeah. That's right. There's your three awesome kids. Thank you. Are you also a follower? I can be a follower in the right circumstances. There you go. And that's my thing for Sunday is so often we pick and choose our leaders who we want to follow, but then we don't realize that people are actually following us. And people that are really following us are our kids. That's true. And as you know, your kids are uh, one, six, five and eight. And eight. Five yeah. and eight. And uh, they're like sponges. They yeah. soak in everything you say and do, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. Yeah. And I got grandkids. And uh, you got to be careful what you say and do because you got yeah. little eyes looking at you yeah. and little ears listening to you. And so, be careful, little. Uh, oh, see? what you see? I point, won't sing, point. but that's that right. In my head, right. And that's yeah. my whole message for Sunday: is we often think about who we're following, but forget that people are following us, and we need to set the example of being a Christian dad, um, mm. and then not to leave out the mothers, but the Christian moms as well. But being Sunday Father's Day, right. we need to be cognizant that we have kids and grandkids following us. Yeah. And uh, how we act and what we say, what we do is very important. So, so we need to be the hands, the feet, and the voice of Jesus. So our kids will follow us into yeah. the ways that God wants them to go. And uh, that's my theme uh, yeah. for Sunday. So I'm going to ask the congregation, who are you following? I'm looking forward to that. And see what they say. It'll be a good Father's Day yeah, sermon. Yeah, cool. Uh, speaking of which, the, the uh, verse for that week yeah. is, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And that's yeah. from Deuteronomy 6. Yes. Verse 5. So looking forward to that coming up this Sunday for Father's Day. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit um, because in the Old Testament and uh, even still today, uh, the Jewish people have frontals and they actually tie the scriptures on the forehead and upon their their uh, their bicep. That's a bicep, right? Yeah. Yeah, bicep. Bicep, tricep. Yeah. 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 yeah, right there. And if you have friends that are Jewish and you enter... Uh, into a home of a Jewish family, you would see the mezuzah on the door frame. Hmm. And uh, I'll talk about all that and how that fits in with that verse you just said. Very so, good. Yeah. Excited for that. Thanks, Pastor. Okay. All right, we got a little steps update for you. The kids attending the daycare are spending quite a bit of time outside. Now that summer has arrived, of course, that's a good news. Summertime. Yeah. Summertime. I love it. They're and playing in the living is easy. Oh, you're not done. No, I'm not oh, keep okay. going. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Summertime. Sounds good. So they're playing in the new playground area, have a lot of fun with the water games. Yeah. Uh, and there's one more big piece of playground equipment that has yet to arrive. When it does come in, uh, we'll be in need of many volunteers to erect it. Many. And at our next voters meeting, you'll hear some kitchen update updates that are uh, in the works for the day yeah. here. So a lot <laughs> of stuff are. going on down there. And again, on. like we always say, big thank you to Tammy and her staff for all they do. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Next Sunday, we'll be commissioning the new church officers and boards, mm -hmm. as well as the participants and leaders going to the National Youth Gathering, me included. You were included, and the guy sitting over there, and his wife. Next Sunday, you are going to be commissioned. How often have you been commissioned? Once before. That's right, once before. And what that is, 
is I'm going to have a little bit of a service dedicated to, to you guys, the, the Utes, as I call you guys, and Billy and Hallie. Um, and I believe your sister, yes, uh, as a counselor going down and going to set you apart that um, you see yourself as a blessing to others and also a blessing to God to soak in what he has you to learn and, and to, to grow and to change and to mold you into what he needs you to be. And uh, that's all going to be wrapped up in the commissioning. So, um, but more or less, it's a, a prayer of you guys for safe travel. And uh, especially for Billy and Hallie, uh, who are driving the big van with uh, how many kids? It's a good question. 10, 11, eight? Eight. Eight kids in the van. We're going to pray for Billy and Hallie. And uh, with eight kids in the van. So God bless you, Billy. Uh, we'll be praying for you, buddy. Woo! But uh, anyway, that's going to be uh, next Sunday. And you mentioned the council and the boards. And uh, we are blessed to have so many people on the council, awesome people on the council. And uh, it's not just the council, it's the board heads and the board members. And so everybody is going to be commissioned. Um, and my theme for that Sunday is going to be servanthood. And I would like to see the congregation see themselves as servants and then see the council and the board members to see themselves as servants and the youth and the youth counselors to see themselves as servants. So the whole Sunday is around the theme of servanthood. So lots of things going on at 26 oh, and include wow. you actually. Yeah. Yeah. Also including me, Hallie and Billy will also be leading a meeting between services on the 26th for everyone that's going on the trip to Houston and their families. Agendas will be distributed, rules explained, forms signed, and the covenants will be finalized. If you or your child are going on the trip to Houston, you need to be at this meeting. I like how you put the word rules in there. Not that you guys need rules, but- We're very uh, crazy children. Are you really? Oh, absolutely. Well, in, in the covenants, actually, they get to choose. Do they really? Rules for themselves that they will follow. Wow. So the covenant is not just from the LCMS, not just from Hallie and me, but also what they expect of us and what that, they expect of themselves. That That's a, a good definition of a covenant because it goes both ways. Yeah. many new summer hot blockbusters hit in the movie theaters. The new sermon series for the summer is At the Movies. At the Movies, indeed. We're beginning this on July 3rd with The Patriot. Yes, and it's going to be awesome. I am so looking forward to this. I think I came up with this theme, Rachel. Wow, I want to say back in the wintertime, actually. Um, I had this thought pop in my head. Uh, after watching a movie, and I thought, that would be a good movie to preach on. And then I thought, all right, well, this would be a good movie to preach on. And that would be a good movie to preach on. And then it just blossomed in, into a whole sermon series uh, for two months. And I happened to bring the list of movies with me. If we got some time, as Rachel said, we begin July 3rd. And the reason for that is I'm not going on vacation uh, in June, so I will be here July 3rd. And since it's July 4th weekend, I've chosen uh, the theme of freedom. And there is an awesome scene in the movie Patriot. Have you seen Patriot? I don't think I have. Really? There's an awesome scene uh, that happened in a church. And they're talking about freedom and what freedom means. And so I'm using that and I'm bouncing off of that to preach on freedom. But here's the rundown of the rest of the movies. July 10th is The Lion King. Good one. About talking about our past how it's in the past, but it still hurts. Then we go to the Da Vinci Code. We're gonna be talking about the Da Vinci Code, the movie and the book, and how it is false, and how it's against God and the Bible, 
and how it destroys Christianity. Thank you, Rachel. The 24th is going to be a movie. I have, sorry, Hallie, I still have not seen The Princess Bride. I will see it before that Sunday, and that's on Sacrificial Love. The 31st is a Christmas movie. It's a Wonderful Life. And it's a scene where Clarence saves George, and George says, why is my life worth saving? August 7th is Mary Poppins. Uh, love Mary Poppins. Uh, it's a scene in the end, toward the end of the movie, where the song, I Love to Laugh. And the theme is going to be exceedingly great joy. August 14th, awesome movie. I can only imagine. It's the movie behind the song, and my theme is going to be on heaven. Uh, August 21st is a movie I've yet to see, but I heard it's fantastic. The Girl Who Believed in Miracles. Oh, I'm sorry, The Girl Who Believes in Miracles, and I'm going to be preaching on miracles. And then to wrap it up is August 28th, which is Filled with Dreams, and I'm going to be preaching on hurtful words. Have you seen Filled with Dreams? I have not. And the, toward the end of the movie, uh, Kevin Costner and James Earl Jones are in the, the van. And he actually asked Kevin Costner uh, a question. Um, what was it that, you know, broke your father and you up? And Kevin um, talks about the, the hurtful words that were spoken. And he didn't get a chance to go back and apologize because his dad died. And so my theme is going to be hurtful words and bringing in Luke 15 uh, about how in Luke 15, the son came back and it was a big reunion. That's great. But sometimes we say hurtful things and there's not a big reunion because someone has died and then you regret that you feel. So that's my theme for the Feel the Dreams movie. But that's, I'm excited about it and I'm also excited because we're going to have movie night. Actually, movie nights. There's going to be a movie night in July. It's July 23rd and we're going to start at 5.30. It's a Saturday, 5.30 and we're starting with hot dogs and uh, kind of like uh, movie food, hot dogs, pop, water, that kind of stuff, all free, all free. Um, and then afterwards at six o'clock, we're gonna gather and watch The Lion King. And it's gonna be awesome. And then in August, we're gonna have a double feature, meaning we're gonna start again with dinner, like dinner, hot dogs, pop, water, that kind of thing. But then we're gonna break off into two sections the adults who come upstairs and watch, I can only imagine. The kids will be downstairs and they're watching either The Girl Who Believes in Miracles or uh, Mary Poppins. I love Mary Poppins. I'm um, leaning toward Mary Poppins. And then during the movie, there'll be uh, popcorn and, and water and M&Ms and movie snacks, all free. So the first one is July 23rd. It's a Saturday at 5.30, murky calendar. You'll be back. I will be back. Billy will be back. And uh, so I'm excited to have two movie nights and a double feature. So I'm excited. Maybe I can talk Billy next year into turning the parking lot into a drive-in movie. I'm all for it. And could you imagine the witness out in the parking lot if there's a big screen and people just drove by and, and came for an outdoor movie? That'd be awesome. Board of Ed implementing new curriculum this fall for Sunday school to make this exciting change a success. There are need of numerous volunteers to be at Sunday school teachers. So yeah. if you're somebody who wants to be a Sunday school teacher, consider that. Mm -hmm. Plenty of information to help you prepare to teach. It's a great way to share your faith with kids in our church. Mm -hmm. Teachers are needed for the preschool class and the K through six class. If interested, you can speak with Tammy Berry or with Lisa Fouts. So keep that in mind if you, your heart's feeling to, uh, pulled towards that. Child care is going to be provided during the Bible study hour this summer. Board of Ed's arranging this service, and you can speak to Tammy or Lisa with any questions about that as well. That's so, going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's good news. And, and that way uh, you and Melissa can attend and not worry yeah. about Chloe or, or Nora or Heidi. Yeah. Uh, you, you might be keeping Chloe with you depending on the day. but uh, Depends on the day. Nora and Heidi. We'll the, be taken care the of the fact that we're offering the service that's yeah, what matters that's right that's so, what matters yep, so yeah so. that's it that is good news it's good news indeed it's good news the good news of our loving father in heaven is given to us by jesus who was despised and rejected now like joseph whose father jacob favored him and gave him great gifts was also despised and rejected by his brothers mm -hmm. in their rage and anger they plotted to kill him and sold him into slavery 
But Joseph understood God's grace and forgiveness and showed love to his brothers when it came to him in need. Now, Jesus does the same for us. He shows us the love of God by forgiving us of our sins, even though we despised and rejected him. When we were baptized, we were adapted into his family. We became brothers and sisters that he will show mercy upon us in our time of need because of his abounding love. Good news. Great, good news. Great story. Joseph. Yeah, one of my and, favorites. Uh, great. His brothers selling him to slavery and the forgiveness at the yeah. end. And it, it is really neat. And I don't know why, but every time I, I read that story in church or hear, like you talk about it now, yeah. I always think of Donny Osmond. Oh, do you? Yeah. What's, Don, the, what's Don, the reason? Donny Osmond that? played Joseph in the musical Joseph and the Amazing Tentacle Dream Cutter. Okay. So every time I hear that story, I think Donny Osmond. Yeah. But, uh, kind of weird i know i have five brothers and every time do you I, really every time i hear that story yeah. i think about oh my gosh that's right what if, if they would have done that to me how that's betrayed right. would i have mm-hmm. felt sold me into slavery and could i forgive them and that's my question if your yeah. brother sold you into slavery would you come back and forgive him you know i'd hope so but I die, that's right yeah we'll see yeah so well, well uh, <laughs> hopefully we don't see <laughs> hopefully they don't see and and, and and to do that takes a lot of spirit from yeah. god and it takes a lot of prayer Right. So, Speaking of prayer, uh, why don't we pray about that? Let's do it. But let's just pray about that. Father, we just thank and praise you uh, for all your gifts to us, especially the gift of Jesus Christ. And Father, we thank you that you created us, that your Son redeemed us, and your Spirit sanctifies us, the Holy Trinity. And Father, we just want to pray this day because we know that we are sinful human beings. And uh, sometimes when we need to forgive others, uh, we sometimes don't. We hold on to those grudges and hold on to the past, and we just need to let them go. Especially when someone comes to us and says, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Uh, we know that when we do that to you, when we come to you and say, hey, it's me again, I'm sorry, God, please forgive me, you always forgive us. Help us to be loving. Help us to be forgiving, too, in all our relationships. So, Father, be with us and bless us this day. Bless everyone. In you we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, yeah, Pastor. Man. Yeah. We've got some announcements for you guys that you might want to know about. The Knitters are going to be meeting Monday at 10 a.m. Women's Bible Study is going to be taking place at 6.30 p.m. POCA has their next event on Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. And the Trustees are going to be meeting at 6 p.m. Now, on Wednesday, the noon Bible study will meet, and the men's Bible study is going to be taking place at 6.30 p.m. Praise band is going to practice on Thursday at 5.30, the middle cross. And then uh, the new Sunday morning Bible study, what it's all about, going to be starting on July 10th. July 16th is the Lutheran Family Fun Day at Camp Luther Haven. Great opportunity for a lot of families. I was never able to attend Camp Luther Haven, but it does sound like a good time. August 7th, 2nd, is the Lutheran Night at the Ten Caps game. We have a block and look, be on the lookout for the, those tickets. August 6th and 7th is the Redeemer Family Summer Picnic. Always a good time. Fun, family, food, and fellowship. That's right. Good job. Well done. Also, you may have noticed that we have uh, changed our format. More changes are coming with the videos and the other products that we are releasing on social media. As these changes are happening, we encourage you to be part of the process. We want to hear what you're thinking. What suggestions do you have? What questions would you like to have answered? Do you have a comment about what you saw? Leave it in the comment section below or post it on our Facebook page. As a church family, we wanna be social and we wanna enjoy fellowship that we find through Christ. So join the discussion and help us make these products become more engaging. So we'll hop over right now to our sermon review video. God in three persons, Blessed Trinity. Gotta love it, right? Gotta love those good old hymns, right? Speaking of good old hymns, and speaking of the Holy Trinity, I'd like you to try something with me this morning. Let's sing the doxology, but let's sing it slowly in parts, without music, and let's add the amen, and see if we can do the amen in four-part harmony. I think you know the words, so don't worry about it. Ready? 
Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy If that don't give you goosies, that's enough for me to say amen and sit down and sermon's over. No, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> no, nope. I got at least a half hour to go. The doxology is good theology. But how does one truly understand the creator of the universe? and his expressions to us as one God, yet three distinct persons of the one God. Now, I think the Old Testament will help out a great deal in all of this. Because the Old Testament, for the most part, is written in Hebrew. And in the book of Genesis, the Hebrew word for God is Elohim. That one you can say, Elohim. Now, Elohim is a plural word, meaning more than one. Now, in our English language, if we want something to be plural, what do we do? We add an S, right? Meaning more than one. Well, not so in Hebrew. You see, Elohim is plural, and it's translated as Lord God. Now, the singular word for God in Hebrew doesn't appear until Moses meets Elohim on Mount Sinai. And when Moses asked God, when I go to your people, God, in Egypt, who shall I say sent me? Basically asking God, what's your name? And the answer God gives back to Moses is not Elohim, but Yahweh. Translated into English, I am. Tell them that I am sent you. Now, that's why Jesus constantly refers to himself as what? I am. I am the bread of life. I am the living water. I am the good shepherd. Why? Because the Father and I are one, says Jesus. We'll see you next time. Three right. questions with All Pastor right. Carney. God bless you. Have a great day. Thanks again for joining us. If you have any questions about Redeemer, have a topic or interview suggestion, or need to know anything about the church, you can contact the church office at churchoffice at RedeemerWorsaw.org. Pastor Carney at pastor underscore Carney at RedeemerWorsaw.org. Phil at phil.prevail at gmail.com or Billy at rlc underscore it at RedeemerWorsaw.org. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And please join us again next week. And until then, may the Lord be with your spirit and grace be with you.